Hi viewers, welcome to Prince Alex YouTube channel. Today we are solving a problem related to Carl Parson coefficient of skewness. Calculate the Carl Parson coefficient of skewness from the following. Class is given and the frequencies are given. In this class we can see that there are difference between the upper limit and the lower limit. That means it is an exclusive series. Transfer it into exclusive series, we have to reduce 0.5 from the lower limit and add 0.5 to the upper limit of the each class. Then the class 130 to 134 will be 129.5 to 134.5. And 134.5 to 136.5. The Carl Parson coefficient of skewness is mean minus mod divided by standard deviation. So we have to find mean mod and standard deviation. For finding mean, we are rearranging the classes. Then next column is frequency, next one is x, that the mid value of each class. Then 147 we are taking as a assumed mean, then d we are finding d is equal to x minus 147 divided by class interval. After then finding f d, f into d and the sum of f d is a 4. Mean is equal to A plus sigma Fd by N into C. A is the assumed mean 147 plus 4 by 100 into 5. The answer is 147.2. Second step is calculating mode. The mod class is 144.5 to 149.5. Therefore, lower limit is 144.5 and the upper limit is 149.5. F0 is 21, F1 is equal to 28 and F2 is equal to 19. Formula for finding mod is equal to L1 plus F1 minus F0 divided by 2 F1 minus F0 minus F2 into L2 minus L1. Substituting each value, we will get the mod as 146.68. For finding standard deviation, we have to find d squared and f d squared. d squared we will get by multiplying d into d. Minus 3 into minus 3 is equal to 9. After that, finding the product of f into d squared. Finding the sum of f d squared, it is 178. Formula for finding standard deviation is equal to square root of sigma f d squared divided by n minus sigma f d by n the whole squared into c. Substituting each value 178 by 100 minus 4 by 100 the whole squared into 5. The answer is 6.65. Now we can find Carl Parson coefficient of skewness, mean minus mod divided by standard deviation, substituting each value, we will get the answer as 0 0.0766.